Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summer Time. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do one, the best braids, and two, the best braid out of your life. It's going to be so easy. After this video, you're going to know how to do braids and you're going to know how to smash it. So let's go. So here's the thing, if you want to just have braids, it doesn't really matter if you start on wet hair or dry hair, because you can do a good braid, a good cornrow on wet or dry hair. But if you want to be able to wear those super cute curls, those waves that you get with a braid out, it's best to start on wet hair. Because the amazing thing about wet hair is that it kind of just molds into whatever position that it dries in. So I'm starting on wet hair, I've just washed it, all I did was shampoo and condition. Then I went in and I applied some hydrating curl cream because if you're gonna wear this style for a while, you want your hair to stay hydrated. The worst thing is if you're gonna do a balm protective hairstyle like this and then not even moisturize your hair. Are you just gonna leave your hair in braids for a week with no moisture? Are you trying to dry it out like the desert? No! No! Make sure you get that on the ends. That's the most important part because the ends are the parts that dry out the most. I'm gonna take my Denman brush and I'm just gonna work that product through. Make sure there's no tangles in your hair whatsoever. And another tip is to maybe not do this on soaking wet hair. It helps if your hair's wet, but you know, if it's still dripping, can't do dripping, then that's too wet. Look at that. Look at that, that's just my splash. Don't worry about it, Steve. This, this, this. So do you want to have it right down the middle? Do you want to do like a side thing? I pretty much taught myself everything about hair, but I still remember this. My mum taught me to just do a middle part from here, from your nose and just take it up. And that's where we're going to start. So I'm going to use one more brush to help me with styling today. And it's this hair styling brush from Lee Stafford. It has these thick bristles that can really get into the hair and just smooth everything out. But it also has these longer ones, which really just help with styling and, you know, fixing up the braid. See how like it's how smooth it gets everything. <gasps> Look at that. Imagine the sleek hairstyles. I feel like Shanice from Love Island. You're going to need to put one side to the side. <laughs> I usually just wrap mine into a bun. This kind of stops it from getting in your way and also stops it from drying out because it will take longer to dry if it's wrapped into a bun like this. If you just leave it out, it will start drying and you're gonna have to get it wet again. One of my scrunchies from my brand Hitchy is gonna just sit on there like that. <laughs> Then you're gonna need one more thing. So the first thing is gonna be some kind of setting gel, setting cream. One that I love to use since day one, whenever I do a braid out, a twist out, anything, is the Smooth and Hold Pudding. This is from ORS, so it's like super thick. Why did my door just randomly open? Oh, it smells good, it smells fresh. It smells like it would taste good. So we're just gonna run that through the hair. and brush it through to make sure it's evenly dispersed because you don't want some patches that have got a lot on and some patches that don't have any on. And then your results are gonna be inconsistent and you're gonna have some bits with frizzy and some bits are more defined. So just make sure you don't miss this step out. <laughs> I decided to go one step further for the purposes of this video to show you guys because I have black hair and it's kind of hard to see what's going on. Honestly, hair tutorials were easier when I had blonde highlights. Should I go back to my blonde highlight day? Mofajang hair coloring wax. This one is in the shade gold. So it's as close to blonde as they do. So I'm gonna put a dollop of this on my hair so that you guys can follow the action. Okay, so now we're really gonna start braiding. I'll even put the timestamp myself. Brush it like this. Cause you know, sometimes you take a clump of hair and the way that it clumps kind of makes it look like you've got bald patches and stuff. But if you do this first, you can kind of avoid it. You can kind of avoid the bald patch look and pretend you don't have it. Take a section of hair from the very, very front. Start as early as possible. I hope that this hair paint wax is helping. Leave a comment for me. Tell me, does this hair paint wax help you? The way that you do a braid is you're constantly bringing pieces of hair into the middle and they have to go either over or under. So for this kind of cornrow, you're gonna take it under the middle section. If this is the middle section, this one, this is the middle section. So you're gonna take an outlier, this comes under the middle section, and it becomes the middle section. So then you take the next side and you take it under the new middle section. And now that becomes the new middle section. And then you take this one and you go under the middle section. And eventually you'll just get a hand for it and you'll just keep doing it. Now, after we've done a couple of times, 
Now we're going to start taking pieces of hair into the middle section with the outside piece. So we're just going to grab a piece of hair, take it with us. Now this big chunk, now it's all part of the middle section. I just kind of hook it, I just leave it there because now we're going to work on this piece. And you're going to take the next slice of hair like this. That comes with this, it comes into the middle section. Goes like this. You see how this could like become a bald spot? We don't need that in our lives. So take your styling comb, just make sure you just brush it out properly. Make sure you keep it tight, don't let it slip, don't let it become loose, don't let like any bubbles form. Going like sort of curving around the ear, it starts to get a bit tricky. So let's, let's not lose sight of the end goal here. I don't want it to start coming down here. I want to keep it on top of my head. So you have to be really careful once you get here. We're almost there guys, almost done. Keep it going, keep it tight. And I used to have this habit of just keeping it going right down here, but that kind of makes it look loose and sloppy. So if you have the last bit like this, just take the whole thing and put it in there with that last bit. You don't need to have it like dragging on, looking baggy. On to the ends. Once you get to about here, you can just kind of brush it through and make sure it's as smooth as it can be because that's really going to help you with the braid out at the end. You can just leave it like that or you can tie it up. I tend to just leave them because they just stay. Run that through my hair. If you want your hair to be super defined, super sleek at the end of all this, then put a bit more. If you want to have a bit more volume, a bit more puffiness to your hair after, then use a bit less. Let's take some of them morphogene gold. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. That is how I get my braids to look like this. It's actually really easy when you get the hang of it, which I promise you will if you just keep practicing. Nobody was born being able to braid. It just takes practice and patience, as with most things that are worth knowing. <laughs> so I really like it when my braids kind of come in at the back. They're really tight at the back, so it kind of cinches in here and just keeps my face looking like tight. And I feel like if you end up with your braid sort of creeping to the front here that's how it looks like a DIY it looks like you did it yourself whereas if you can keep it kind of tight at the back then it kind of looks like maybe you had it done professionally or somebody else did it for you so that's how I do mine so now you're ready you can go out with your hair like this and I just wanted to give you some tips for how to have this when you go to bed and everything like that you're gonna want to make sure that you sleep with some sort of satin bonnet or a do-rag just to keep everything neat and tidy. You want this to last, right? You didn't just do all this for one day, did you? Just sleep with something like this, you know, just to preserve the style, get the most out of it, make it last as long as possible without getting all frizzy and raggedy. This is how I'm gonna sleep tonight, but right now I'm going out. So I will be back in a couple of days to show you the braid out. Hola, es el día tres of me wearing the braids. So it's time to take them out. But I just wanna pause the video for a second to congratulate you guys on taking the step in 2020 to learn a new skill. I think it already takes a lot for you to search and click on a video about learning how to do braids perfectly, might I add. You know, actually implementing it, actually trying to do it. So massive congrats to you. And you might have noticed that I've also been speaking a little bit of Spanish here and there throughout this video, which I don't normally do. But I've actually been trying to pick up a new skill myself which is to work on my Spanish and my Korean and my illustration and everything and it's all been made really easy by using some tools which I'm going to share with you guys right now. So I've been using Skillshare which is an online learning community for creative and curious people. There's tons of classes on there from photography, editing, illustration, languages, interior design, 
anything you can think of, I'm sure they've got it for you. So it's really designed for creative, curious people that really just want to learn some new skills this year. I was actually able to partner with them for this video, so I'm so happy to say that I was able to secure a little offer for you guys. If you want to join this amazing community to expand your skills and become creative and reach your goals and reach your dreams, then you just need to click the link in the description. The first 500 people are gonna get a two month membership for free. And don't worry too much if you're not within the first 500 people to click the link because the membership is less than $10 a month. So definitely check them out. I've been loving it. I've already learned so much and they have like this funky little song for me to learn Spanish with. Pero no soy mala, lo siento. Pero no soy mala, lo siento. Pero no soy mala. Soy buena. <laughs> I'm so happy that I'm able to extend that offer to you guys because I think learning is so important and the fact you're even watching this video shows me that you think it's important as well. So click the link in the description if you don't want to miss out and let's get going. Vamos! So it's time to take your braids down. There is a bit of a technique to this. It's not very difficult at all. It just means being very gentle and just trying not to rip through your hair. It depends like how frizzy you want your hair to be. But I'm really just gonna start from the bottoms because I mean, obviously you can't just go like this. I don't know who would try and do that. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's tried to do that before. But generally just unravel the braid. And as you go down, you're gonna wanna feel inside and make sure it's dry. Like, so say if you were doing this day after you did it, it might not be dry yet. And if you want the curls to be perfect, they have to be 100% dry. So mine are dry because it's been like two or three days. Go through and unravel. Oof, 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 miralas. Look at them. Los rizos son tan bonitos. Means the curls are so pretty. Numero dos. And it's so easy. It's fatil. Don't make tangles as you go down. It's muy bonita. I love a braid out. You can't tell me nothing. Just kind of ruffle things at the root a bit, get some volume in there, and just separate some of these curls up because they're going to look a bit unnatural if they're all clumped together exactly as they were in the braid. So just kind of be a bit gentle because we don't need to be creating any frizz out here. We just want to be making things look more natural. This might be the best braid out I've done in a minute. If you leave too many pieces clumped together where they kind of don't belong, you're more likely to get tangled. So it is a good idea just to separate things and just kind of get them back to their original space. It's pretty, right? You might need to go in with a afro comb or something just to get rid of that parting, get things looking a bit more natural. Your hair is now all curly and wavy and the perfect braid out. So how can you make it even more perfect? Take some kind of oil or like a sheen, like perfecting sheen. This one is the Dazzle Drops by Lee Stafford. It's the Cactus Crush Dazzle Drops. So you just take some onto your hands. Okay, there it is. So just take some onto your hands like this. Just you. Rub that together. Smooth that through for some extra shine. Look at it. So that's how you get the perfect braids and the perfect braid out. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. And if you wanna keep on learning, then don't forget the Skillshare link in the description box down below. Remember the first 500 to join the Skillshare community, get a free two month membership. And it's less than $10 a month for everybody who joins after that. So don't miss out. I'd really love it if you guys could like this video, if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe to my channel and hit your notification bell if you want to see my other videos. Also, get me on Instagram for the life of Lana Summer where I'll be showing you the roundups and the breakdowns. And yeah, that's everything from me. I hope to see you next time. Bye.